Bang and Romper, another episode, Ultra Despair Girls. Continuing from where we left off, we have opened up some new tabs on the options menu. So here's a map. Looks like we are on the rooftop of the hospital. So I guess we have to make our way through there. We've also got a list of skills, but as you can see, we've only got auto lock at the moment. The rest are question mark, question mark, question mark. So yeah, I suppose... We will unlock more of them as we progress through the story, perhaps. We've got truth bullets, so we've got break and also move at the moment. Again, they're the only two bullets we have. We've got files, scrapbook, let's have a look. Oh, I can't select it with X, so I can't go left or right either, so I don't know what that's all about. I'm guessing that will open up more as we progress as well. People, we have unlocked Toko. So, former student of Hope's Peak Academy and the ultimate writing prodigy, famous as a young novelist, currently a Future Foundation intern in love with co-worker Byokyo Togami. Then we've got Genocide Jack, the other personality that lurks inside Toko Fukawa, a former serial killer that solely targeted adorable little men. Eccentric, energetic and also in love with Byokyo Togami. Uh, we've already looked at Byokuya and the Servant. Let's have a look at the fighter. Fighter of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate drama who used to be a famous child actor, loves, adorbs things and actively collects them. Then we've got the Priest, which is like, he's super creepy. Priest of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate art who can handle any arts and crafts, acknowledges and encourages being greatly disliked by his friends and himself. Then we've got the hero, hero and leader of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate PE, super skilled at physical activities and sports, though he is boastful that others rarely take him seriously. Then we've got the sage, sage and vice leader of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate social student, uh, sorry, the little ultimate social studies is more mature than the other Warriors of Hope and thus often plays the role of babysitter. Then the most creepy of all, even creepier than the priest, because she's got this like cute vibe going, but she's too sweet. It's like oversweet. You're literally destroying all the teeth in my head. You're too sweet. Mage of the Warriors of Hope, the little ultimate homeroom who loves to in exchange opinions with everyone. She cannot walk and thus uses a wheelchair. And that's it. So let's continue on, guys. So we've looked all around here, so let's just go into the hospital. I need to get better at aiming with the gun, guys, because I am rubbish at the moment. Is this it's because hospital? I don't play shooting games. <laughs> and I'm really bad at getting, you know, shooting anything on a small target, so... Especially in games. And, and in real life. <laughs> like me. I can't play darts. <laughs> Right? Why didn't you deny it? That means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You're a human as well. You're having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. Why is this shutter here? We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. There's no power. I guess that's then objective number one what then. What should we do? Restore the power maybe? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's chant it together. What? Seriously? <laughs> of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Well, can you blame her for believing that? Everything else has been so mad so far. Uh, oh, right. Are those people dead? So cool.
Are you an idiot? <laughs> What's going on? Yeah, I don't make her mad. Um. This is not funny at all. Wow, creepy music, man. Oh, we can't go that way. The power's out. I don't like dark places. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Yes, we can. We can use the move bullet. Okay, then. Let's go. Uh, um, Toko? About this gun. Wouldn't it be better if you used it? Can't expect it to do everything. I'm allergic. To machines. What? Oh, Is that okay. even possible? Well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. I suppose you can be allergic to types of metals, can't you? I don't know. I'm not a doctor, man! <laughs> okay, let's switch back to the brake bullet. There's probably going to be some monokumas out here now. I'll be surprised if there isn't yet. There we go. As expected. Grizzly. Uh, hurry up and shoot it. Let's try and see if my aim is any better. Oh, nice. I did it. As long as I've got time to aim in a reasonable amount of time, I'm okay. I do need to, uh... There we go. Maybe fiddle with the sensitivity. I don't know if I can, actually. Look at the bodies! Which way to get out of here? Oh my god! Creepy. She was the one singing and all the monokumas showed up. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? Tee hee. Tee hee. But why are they wearing helmets? I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. S stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? Oh, come on, they're evil. No, you Look at it. it. It's got a Monokuma head on. Working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But... Can't just attack these brats. 
It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko, what's that box next to that kid? Probably another bullet that is gonna enable us to disable the kid or something. Stop it from chasing us or attacking us. Maybe you should open it. So if we can't kill the kid, time for a tutorial. I'm sure a smart gamer like you already knows, but truth bullets are a limited resource. But there are exceptions like move, but worrying about exceptions is no way to live. Truth bullets are replenished with item boxes or by picking up the ones dropped by monokumas. Other than bullets, you might find hearts to heal HP or batteries for Genocide Jack. Resupply yourself skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item but empty of the other. So basically just pick up everything. Is that kid giving this to us? Why help us like this? To make the game fair and make it more sporting? My guess is they're carrying out someone's order. Huh? Order? Who, who cares anyway? No point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but... It's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Uh, okay. That looks like... I don't know who that looks like on screen. It looks like a Monokuma, I think. Let's have a look at the map. Right, okay, so... That's where we have to go, so straight ahead. They're here again! Nice. Shiny! Rampaging Monokuma robots, reportedly the same kinds that were involved in the incident, are running amok through Toa City. The hows and whys are currently unknown. Evidence points to the involvement of the remnants of despair. Toa City is currently in a state of level 5 emergency alert. Evacuation is advised. Awesome. And another shiny over here. Billy Milligan Royale. High school senior, SAE Sunakosaka has 24 split personalities. After an unexpected turn of events, she obtains 23 new bodies, but there's no need for 24. The killing of me against me commences. You think so? So vulgar. Don't mess with me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Which reminds me. Yep, which means you are safe. But... Yeah, but then she, when she was about to, she reverted back to normal Toko, didn't she? <laughs> you can see the boobs! The boobs aren't a lie!
You really want to see it? <laughs> Awesome, so finding little things like that can unlock new extra scenes, so it's worth exploring and making sure you haven't left anything, I guess. Uh, we've been in there, so we've got to go down this way, haven't we? For those little brats. I've seen them playing around with that arcade machine before. I wonder if we get to play with it. Arcade machine? Danganronpa, another tutorial. <laughs> that arcade machine those kids just left ain't no normal arcade machine. It actually displays the surveillance camera in the next room. The kid used... The kids use the controls to work the monokumas in that room, just like a video game. Oh, the horror! This is the life of a game brain. Anyways, there's always a strategy for rooms with a nearby arcade machine. At first glance, the room next door looks dangerous with all these monokumas around. But if you use a certain route, you can get past without getting caught. Now then, try shooting move at the arcade machine, then check next door. There's a lot of them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. Okay. So we've got to go behind the desk and then up the side and through the door. Did you figure out the best route for getting past these monokumas? By pressing the select button you can see the arcade machine's video again, but this will leave you vulnerable so be very careful. We've got to hurry. We don't want to be caught. That one was easy. It's probably going to get a lot harder than that. Congratulations! We're finally out, but where are we? What? You don't know? Don't you live in the city? I wouldn't call it living. I was just imprisoned in an apartment the whole time. Imprisoned, huh? That's an interesting backstory. <laughs> but how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said something when we first met. You said you must be Kamaru Naegi. Toko, how did you know about me? D don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. You caught me off guard. Well, I think I deserve to know. It's not some big secret or anything. On the helicopter ride over, Master mentioned you and... Helicopter? You mean Future Foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform yet. Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. This is such a cheap-ass organization. They could have at least given me a uniform. 
You'd look weird in a suit. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? You only have that one uniform, huh? Yeah, but I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. He said, if I can prove I can control her, I get to be an official member. Oh, another fantasy! <sighs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. That is your purpose. Your destiny. B but... I'm not an official member. Shh. Enough with the excuses. You are my property. I own you like livestock. Yes! I'm your livestock. <laughs> My pig. Yes! I'm your pig! Hey, pig. Repeat the promise you made with me. Uh, uh, oink, oink, oink? In English, fool. I promise to never let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. Need you. You must never break that promise. Oink. Oink. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oink. 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 Just step what? away from the crazy lady. What's with that face? It's like you're looking at uh Pig, did I look that weird? No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross at all. <laughs> I didn't ask you if it was gross, I just said weird. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez, even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. <sighs> and even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. Wow, you sure give your friends nice nicknames. They're not my friends. My whole life I've never had a friend. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Stop prodding my mental wounds, girl! I didn't mean to. Hm. Anyway, who cares about having friends? I have Master Biakia. And as long as I have Master... I don't need anything or anyone else. She's beaming. <laughs> to actually care about someone that much? That's a pretty amazing feeling. But I got separated from my precious master thanks to these damn riots. Now I'm all alone. Of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without master or anyone else knowing. Wait, so... Ever since then, you've been... alone? Then who told you Biyaki was captured? Huh? Oh, well, a lot of things happened. Huh, <laughs> she's hiding something. And more importantly, what are you going to do from here on? Me? Well, I guess there's no choice but to escape. I'll be killed if I stay in this town, right? You... You want to look for Byakuya, right? I know that's what you want, but... But I'm just so scared. I can't help it. I... I feel so afraid. I feel trapped. No matter what I do, I'll end up getting killed. Not with Genocide Jack on your side. So... Listen, I know this is an unfair request, but... Fine. Huh? You want me to tag along with you, right? Fine, I'll go with you. It... It's... Okay? Th there's no other choice. As a member of Future Foundation, it's my duty to protect you. Well, at least she's taking it seriously. 
Witch Toko? Hey, what are you doing? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! From the bottom of my heart, just thank God I met Toko! God, just thank me directly. But uh, are you sure about this? Uh, what about your search for Byakuya? There's no need for you to worry about that. I've been thinking up a plan. Oh, you're right. An amazing girl like you would have a plan for sure. No point in me worrying. Hmm. But... I'm glad. Ever since I was imprisoned, I've been all alone. I couldn't depend on anyone else. So, I'm really happy you're with me. So, so happy. You, you don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. Now, do you know a way out? So guys, would you like <laughs> Toko as a friend with her crazy split personality, Genocide Jack? I don't know anything about the city either. I don't know where we should go. You have to make sure you're not a cute boy though. <laughs> you're right. We have to figure out more about this town first. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. That's right. I heard this town is on an island, which means... Hey, Toko, do you remember seeing a bridge anywhere? A bridge? If I remember correctly, I saw a huge bridge over that way. Perfect. If this town really is an island, we should be able to escape over the bridge. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let's go to the bridge. We have to at least try. <sighs> what a relief. I was starting to lose hope. Never lose hope. Don't give in to despair. I see. Good for you. It's time for a tutorial. I'd like to introduce some small necessity skills that'll turn the battle in your favour. First bring up the menu with start button and switch to the skill screen with the L and R button. Choose skills using the directional buttons and attach detach with the X button. Surprise! It appears you already have one skill. Hooray! If you attach this skill you'll be able to automatically lock onto the target. By finding reference books around town, you can get new skills. Don't forget to attach them to turn the tide of war. By the way, attaching skills would require skill points. Skill points increase when Komaru levels up. Pretty standard stuff. Now then, defeat a lot of Monokumas and level up quick. This filthy shabby looking. So let's have a look. Auto lock automatically focuses the laser sight on the closest enemy. So I've equipped that. Well guys, now seems like a perfect time to stop this episode here. So don't forget to like, comment, favourite and share. It really does help me out as a YouTuber. And as always, thank you for watching guys.